Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a comparison video and the things are, we are going to be comparing are the two shotguns, uh, the Striker and the Sega. Uh, they are two of the best shotguns in the game uh, and they are also very quick shotguns. They're automatic shotguns uh, which make them absolutely extraordinary uh, for close quarter combat. You could take out multiple enemies at the same time uh, or at in a row I guess um, but yeah uh, first we're gonna take off everything and look at the stats uh, together see how they look and then we're gonna put on the customizations uh, and see how they look then uh, what the stats are and which one overall is better than the other um, but yeah let's go ahead and unequip the trunk really quick so first looking at the striker the stats of this weapon are 100 damage 260 accuracy fire rate of 3.3 holder of 12 rounds and total ammo of 36. As you could see, not the heaviest hitting shotgun, um, but the fire rate definitely, definitely makes up for that. A really, really quick shotgun, uh, obviously really accurate at close distances, but horrible over uh, close quarter combat because um, a shotgun's burst uh, spreads uh, the farther it goes and the less likely chance there is that a BB will hit an opponent or multiple BBs hitting an opponent. So that's why they are uh, relatively weak. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't play right now. Um, but yeah, that's why they are relatively weak uh, over longer distances. Uh, next, looking at the Sega, uh, we do not have a trunk on this weapon. I never really got around to putting a trunk on this weapon because uh, I never... Uh, really found a use for it after after I completely modified my striker but yeah um looking at this weapon I have a damage of 130 accuracy of 200 fire rate of 2.5 holder of eight rounds and total ammo of 30 uh obviously it has significantly higher damage accuracy is much lower though lower by 60 which is a pretty large chunk if you think about it fire rate is lower by uh, I believe 8.8 .8 points, which isn't that big, but it actually does seem like a lot once you start using it. Uh, and then total ammo, uh, or holder, uh, four less rounds per magazine, uh, and then total ammo is 20 less rounds, uh, per cycle or per game, uh, not per game, uh, per revival, I guess. So putting on the customization, uh, if you put on the silencer, it takes the damage up to 156 um, and uh, brings the accuracy down to 190. Uh, then if you put uh, put the flashlight on, it takes the uh, damage up to 139. So uh, I don't know. Well, let's do the math, see what uh, it brings the trunk and the flashlight to. So 9, that would be 65. 65 uh so 165 damage with the flashlight and the trunk uh and then a roughly i want to say 200 accuracy so accuracy definitely doesn't go up that much uh and then with the fast clip goes up to 3.3 .3, uh so yeah those are the stats for a completely modified sega uh at least modified for damage and that's what you want a shotgun to be uh for the striker when you throw on the the trunk uh, and the flashlight and this doesn't really have a speed mag or speed clip uh, so that yeah, it has a massive drum there's no real way to put on a speed mag uh, it's already really quick to begin with so the stats of this weapon after completely modified uh, this weapon has uh, damage of 128 uh, accuracy of 259 uh, fire rate of 3.3 .3, holder of tw uh, 12 rounds and total ammo of 36 so if you think about it the sega is a little bit better than the striker uh, because it has much higher damage uh, and it's roughly as quick 0.2 points off which isn't horrible um, but yeah the striker has much better accuracy and a much larger magazine so it honestly comes down to what you like in a shotgun uh, and yeah that's about it uh, so since i don't have uh, any customizations uh, uh, any substantial customizations on the uh, Sega let's go ahead and compare both of these without any customizations on them I'm gonna go ahead and equip them uh, and uh, see what goes on here they are equipped uh, and I'm gonna try to play uh, with uh, the guy who is inviting me uh, I'm sorry I declined two times but I was kind of recording a video if you are watching uh, apologies for that um, but I'm not seeing any names here uh clan bada boom 
bubble, no hacker, okay, Zillow. Um, and then Tabucci. Yeah, uh, so uh, yeah, let's go into a team deathmatch, see how the weapons perform, uh, see which one's actually better. I personally think it just comes down to preference. Uh, do you like a more accurate shotgun or a more uh, damage uh, a shotgun that causes more damage? Uh, and most people think that the Sega is better than the Striker, but since I have the customizations on the Striker, I, pr I personally like the Striker a little bit more. Um, but yeah, let's see how they perform. Let's throw on the volume really quick. I'm blue team. Okay. Two shots to the body, a quick kill right there. Uh, definitely pretty nice. Uh, doesn't seem that quick, but it doesn't seem slow either. Uh, one shot to the head, three shots to the body. As you can see, the farther the opponent gets, the more shot it, shots it requires to get a kill. Uh, this is true for both of the shotguns. Uh, I'm thinking that the striker could go a little bit farther because it is more accurate. Uh, and as I said, 60 points um, more accurate is a lot. Um, so, whoa. Who blew that up? Oh, that was me? Okay. My bad. Um, but yeah, moving on to the striker, let's see what kind of kills it gets. I'm not finding any opponents yet. So as you could see, you could take down multiple opponents really, really quickly and consecutively. Uh, and I keep stepping on mines. Um, but yeah, uh, the reason I love these shotguns so much is their uh, recovery rate. Like you could recover really quickly. Even if you get shot, you could turn around and uh, pump a couple rounds into your opponent. Uh, and that's why the Sega and the Striker are such amazing, amazing shotguns because they are so quick, and if you get headshots with them, you could get like one-hit kills with them, especially with the Sega since it has a little bit more damage. Um, but yeah, definitely two shots to the body will do the job at close quarters, uh, even a bit past close quarters. I wouldn't say mid-distance, um, but yeah, uh, they are really, really good. Uh, and I do like both of them. But as of right now, I think without any customizations added, the Sega is a little bit better than the Striker because it has much higher damage, and damage really comes in uh, handy when you're really clo up close and personal to your opponent. Um, did not get the kill there. One shot to the body. Um, but yeah. Let's just get a couple more, couple more kills with the Striker here. Uh, and... Then just give it an assessment of how they performed. As you could see, it took four shots to get a kill there because I was walking up to my opponent from a relatively long distance for a shotgun, uh, and it was not performing as well as I would like it to. But yeah, you could definitely see that the Striker is much quicker than the Sega, but a positive thing about the Sega is you could add a speed mag. Uh, you can't really do that for the Striker, so when it comes down to it, overall the speed should be the same when both guns are uh, completely modified. The Striker might be a little teeny bit uh, quicker, um, but yeah, the, I think the damage of the Sega makes up for the speed in the Striker uh, more than makes up for it, actually. Um, but then the accuracy in the Striker, they they definitely come head-to-head -head when you're comparing them. Um, but yeah guys that's about all I gotta say uh, you could get either gun and uh, they are an amazing option for shotguns especially if you enjoy close quarter kills um, and I don't really uh, recommend one over the other uh, the striker might be a little harder to get since it is legendary um, but yeah I think it's well worth it uh, but yeah guys that is the video if you like to hit that thumbs up button if you like this type of content hit that subscribe button uh, and the post notification bell but other than that I will let you go thank you guys so so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.